Happy New Year! Welcome to Makeup Munchies and More, now known as MMNM. Just to make the name a bit shorter and also not to falsely advertise a channel that should predominantly feature makeup and food based on the name alone. I hope you all had a restful holiday and a good start to the roaring 20s. If you're a new viewer, my name is Frances and I like to shop although I've cut down on that significantly in the past few months. I did, however, keep an eye out for notifications on the availability of Michael's grab bags, and I'm here to share with you the contents of the two bags I bought. The items will not be a surprise to me because I was out with my mom when I bought them, and she couldn't wait to see what was inside, so I had to open them right away. Usually, she hates spending money on crafty and decorative things, so I was shocked that she was fairly excited. I think it has to do with the fact that the bags were ginormous and they only cost $4 each. Come to think of it though, I used a gift card to pay for them, so they were actually free, which is a big plus in her books. And this was the second time that I've bought uh, Michael's grab bags. Last year I bought one of the Valentine's bags, but I didn't film a video. So um, here's a picture of what I got though. It's a lot of stuff. Good stuff in there, which I shared with a friend and also with my niece and nephew. And they'll be using it now because Valentine's Day is coming up. And this time around, although there were a good number of bags and I could have bought more, I really don't need anything. And also I'm trying not to bring unnecessary items into the house anymore. So I only left with two, but I think they were a good two. So before time gets away with me here, let me show you what was in my Michael's gift bags. So in my bags, I found one of these advent calendars, naughty or nice, regular $14.99. Three packages of the red, white, and green tissue paper, regular $8, and two packages of just plain white, also $8 each. Three packages of bows, also apparently $8 a package is crazy. Two sets of two gift bags with Merry and Bright on one side and the snowflakes on the other. And then also one set with Season's Greetings and Let It Snow. Two rolls of the Celebrate It ribbon. They're $20 each and they're the wired velvet texture. pack of Christmas cards. Christmas fills our hearts with gratitude for the people in our lives. Thankful for you at the holidays and always Merry Christmas. There's 16 cards and envelopes, $20 Canadian. I'll give these to my parents. I got some children's crafts, two of which are these snowman foam ornament kits. They're $11.99 Canadian. And I've got one of these craft tube kits, $11.99 for that as well. Ooh, it's got some nice pom-poms. I may have to keep that, I don't know. And this magnetic hangman set, which is great because we play hangman often, my niece, nephew, and I, but there is no manufacturer price on it. I guess maybe it had a band, a belly band or something that um, showed the price. So I'm gonna estimate that maybe this was $5. I got this random bridge. Doesn't look very Christmassy, but I'm sure because there's some snow on it, it was from a village set. There's no sticker or anything, no price. If you know what the pr manufacturer's price was for this, please let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to estimate that it was about $8. It has no chips. It managed to survive. And um, I hope to one day have a Christmas village, so I'll keep it for that. And also one of these strange, unusual items is this pack of gumballs. It's by Sweet Tooth Fairy. There's no expiration date. There's no price on them, so I don't know if I can eat them. Maybe I'll try one. But my cousin is getting married soon, and I think these are her colors. So maybe she can use them as decor pieces or something. We'll see. If not, we'll try eating them. Got some cookie cutters, which were fun. Uh, they're $3 each, and I got two ornaments, one gingerbread man, and a lot of people are into these. I'm not, but maybe I'll make some cookies next year. It's the little red truck with the Christmas tree. 
that's fun. Now I think I watched Polka Dot Mailbox. She got maybe hundreds of these in one bag. It was ridiculous. I have this one glass ornament, letter V, just like Stacy's stash. I saw that she got one of these too. Luckily I have somebody in my family whose name starts with a V. I wish my grandfather was still alive because his name started with a V and this would have been perfect for him, but Luckily we have a namesake as well, and she'll be getting this. Ornament frames, and they are $9 each. This one says, our first Christmas 2019. So I don't know who I can give this to, or maybe I can cover it with something. I don't know, we'll see, but that's great. It survived, it's plastic here, but the frame is pewter, I guess. It survived. It looks good. The enamel is perfect. I also got this pet one. See little pet paws here. Best friends. I could probably put some embellishments here and, and put a picture of me and my friends. Or maybe it'll make its way into Happy Mail. And then I also got these two. One is a candy cane stripe box, I guess. And then we've got this nice, I like the round frame. And it has a little dangly 2019, but that can come off. Again, each $9. It's an Elf Treehouse kit. It is $29.99 Canadian. And I saw these in a bunch of US and Canadian grab bag hauls. So chances are if you got a bag, you might have one of these in it. But it looks like fun. I like to make things like this with my niece and nephew. Very cute. I have this lawn ornament, I guess it is. It's on a stake, so it's quite long. See it right there. So I can put it in a floral arrangement or in front of the house. The only thing is it does not have a price, so if you know what it, what it should be, please let me know. In the meantime, I have estimated it to be $8, I would say. I haven't seen them in anybody else's hauls unless I wasn't paying great attention to them, but I have these string light organizers. So there's four of them in here and they were regular $6. What you do is you wrap your lights around them. Well, that is neat. Some more cookie cutters, nicely packaged. These would make a great gift. $15 Canadian for the full set. And there are 10 of them in here. I actually think I own this set. These are familiar to me. So I'll be passing those along to somebody. And I got this great basket and it's full of picks. It's kind of like a little snowman body. It's in great condition. There's a little ding on it, but that's okay, I can fix that. Here we go. And the basket was $20 Canadian. And then it's filled with some goodies, like ornament hooks. Uh, $3 each. These are not anything that I use. I prefer the green ones that blend in, but I'm sure somebody will get use out of these. There's one of these picks which is missing one light bulb, but that's okay because I plan on just taking these off and using them on a wreath or something. So this pick was $5. And then these are all the same, just in different colors. $5 each. I think I have 10 of them. I was excited about these because of the pom-poms. I can just pick them off and use them in wreaths again. So I've got the green and red and also the white and red. I love these. I love these as a little bouquet. Also in there was this beautiful Ashland tree made of styrofoam balls. They are a bit messed up. You can see the white styrofoam poking through there, but that's okay. I can color those in. There's some glitter. It's really pretty. My mom loved this the most. Let me lift it up here for you. I took the camera off the mount, but you can see it a bit better. But it's a nice little tree. You can add extra embellishments on it. And it was a regular $55. You've got to be kidding me. And it's called Tabletop Decor. I think it's so festive. Coming in at $25 Canadian is this wreath and garland bag. This is my favorite item because I was actually going to go to Canadian Tire and buy a tire cover or a tire bag, but now I don't have to. And I can put my wreaths in here. This was an unexpected pleasure to find. So 
So there it is. And that was it. I have to say that I'm quite happy with what I got. Everything is usable to me and there weren't too many repeats. Although I would have loved to have found paper bags like uh, the Cheap Chick found. You should check out her video. And uh, Crafted Planet Steph found six and a half foot Christmas trees. Those would have been amazing finds. I added up the manufacturer suggested retail price for Canada and the total came to a whopping $494.95. Who in their right mind would pay that? Probably people that never have to look at a price tag in their life. Had I used a 50% off coupon, I should have calculated 55%, but I didn't. I calculated 50% off if every item was purchased with a coupon, and the total would have been $247.48. And if I bought everything at the lowest discount possible, which is 80% off, I believe, I would have paid $98.99. But my total came to a whopping $8, $9.04 with tax. And I paid a big goose egg, $0, thanks to my brother and sister-in-law, because the gift card I got was from them for Christmas. So thanks, guys. Now, did you manage to grab some Michael's gift bags of your own? Let me know in the comments section. And if you have made a video, leave us all the links so that we can check them out. Thanks a bunch for watching. Please subscribe and click the little bell icon and it will notify you when I get my button gear and put up another video. Ciao for now.